All right, YouTube land, we're back with another video. Today we've got a Ranger, brand new, out of the box. Uh, RCI 69 VHP. This will uh, be the first one we've done one of these. Uh, I've just powered it up here on the bench. Uh, the box advertises high power, 60 watts up and more. It comes with an SR198 chrome microphone. Okay, it's basically, uh, they've basically brought out a high power version of the 6900 is what they've done here. I do like these uh, a little better than the Galaxies because you got the extra digit on the freak counter. You know, great for uh, um, uh, sideband. That's what I was trying to get at. So, But anyway, uh, we're going to have to go through this one and uh, we're setting this one up for Terry. Terry ordered this brand new uh, and wanted the works done to it. So, uh, out of the box, uh, I've got a 500 watt slug in. Uh, I could have put a 100 watt slug in, I guess, but I was I was expecting it to do more, so that's what I put in there. And right there, we're doing about 60 watts PEP as advertised out of the uh, deal, and uh, you know it looks pretty good on oscilloscope. Uh, does have some IMD. Uh, you know, and that'll get worse when we can convert it over to uh, 11 meters, but uh, that's to be expected. So, anyway, we're going to pause this and uh, we're going to get to work on this thing and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back and we're upside down because we're on the bench. And we've got the radio converted here. You can see 269650 channel 1 uh, on the display. I uh, will say, uh, these radios and just about all of them are being built in Vietnam now. Uh, at first I thought that might be a bad thing. We're looking at some of the boards and even the boards on like the, I just did a brand new Galaxy 99 V2. Uh, looking at it, uh, I have to say, uh, uh, not as bad as I thought it would be. They're using uh, different boards and everything else. Now these radios, just like the Galaxies and the other ones, I'm um, already come with the Scotchy uh, diodes in the receive now. They've been doing that for several years. Uh, it helps lower the noise floor. Uh, there's still some tricks we do on the receive, of course, uh, on our end. Uh, radio looks pretty good. It's got a pretty beefy heat sink on it. And uh, we'll key it up here. And we're still doing about 60 watts PEP. If you notice, we've got a little more trash in. Uh, on the on the deal here, um, not quite 100 percent modulation. It's uh, kind of rolling on us. There we go. Sorry for my bad photography. It's kind of dark on that side of the the bench. But uh, anyway, we're going to get started on this and uh, get her tuned up and uh, ready to go and get this thing out to Terry. So uh, we'll be back. Okay, one thing I wanted to note real quick, uh, hooked the mic up, was going to just start checking some things. High side power, uh, high side power, all right, power's right here. I had to look at it because I'm not familiar with the radio. It's right here, all the way up, it's 25 watt carrier out of the box. So it's 25 modulating 60, that's why we look like we did on the oscilloscope, uh, at about 60% modulation, so 70% uh, somewhere around there. But anyway, uh, we're going to fix that for sure. I just want to note that 25 watt carrier out of the box. All right, so we're back with the 6900, uh, 69, 69 VHP, RCI 69 VHP. We got her tuned up here. Now, what we're going to show first is I'm going to turn this variable all the way down. I've been working on this, uh, and it's uh, it's clear right there that's uh, about 12 watts PP uh, we'll take you out to uh, 300 megahertz you can see it got a little bit uh, you know shown right there but nothing across the board there it's clear now we'll turn the variable all the way up and uh, that's back to a 23 watt carriers where I've set it um, We've got the second and the third harmonic, the second and the third, and we got a little bit right up here that I just haven't been able to get out, 
Let me go back down to 50. Um, not sure what's causing that. It's just a little bit right there. Uh, center frequency uh, right now we're at 26965. So uh, that's the same at channel 20. I mean, it doesn't change as far as, but uh, that's where we're at right there. And that spike uh, is down below. So. I can actually, what I'm going to do is find out exactly where it is and I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. And um, back in transmit. And where we're at, where that little spike is, this is our center, this was our center frequency. This we're transmitting on 26.9, we're ch on channel 1 CB band. And where our spike is here at uh, 21.77, 21 megahertz is where we're getting a little bit of a spike there. And, um, and that might have been... That could be due to these uh, a slight misadjustment of those coils, but I'm not going to touch them because that is so far down. That is like 60, 70 dB down from the uh, tra frequency we're transmitting on. It will never interfere with anything. Uh, you know, not even if you was to add an amplifier on this thing, it's, it's not going to ever interfere with any anything down there in that in that area. So anyway. Um, like I said, we've totally gone through this thing. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, we're going to hook it up to the receiver and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back with the 69 VHP and got her hooked up here. Uh, out of the box, she was dead nuts on an S9. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this down. And I've got it on the external speaker so you guys can hear it. Because hearing is, you know, that's where the proof of the pudding is at. She was running about 12 dB of sign at about negative 109. And that tone is falling out, we're at negative 120. It's falling out about negative 125, so it's got a really nice receiver. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to turn this thing around, get the tape off of it, and go over the controls, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back with the uh, RCI 69 VHP, and I uh, just want to go over a few things. Now, this thing, uh, you got the echo button here. Uh, it does not have an outboard echo control. It's like the old, uh, some of the old 6900s and like the 95Ts and some of the other ones that didn't have the external echo. Okay, now those radios did have inboard controls where you could set the echo. This one didn't, and I don't know what the heck that they're thinking over there. Uh, it kind of turned me off, but uh, man, the echo was just terrible. Um, sound like you're in a drum. So what I had to do, and it didn't have an adjustment, so what I did was I went in there and removed all the fixed resistance off the board, and I put in a pot where it could be adjusted. And so the owner of the radio can also do that by opening it up and lifting up the board and turning that pot. But he said he wanted the echo like I run it, and I run it with just a little bit of reverb. Hello, one, two, three, four. Hello, check, check. Hello, hello. I run it with just a little bit of reverb. So that's how it's set up. Sounds good to me. So that's uh, the way we did that. So anyway, but we will go through the controls real quick. Uh, let's see if we can get some light on the subject. You got your volume and your squelch, mic gain, RF gain, uh, variable talk back, and RF power. Okay, all the way up is about 22 watts carrier. All the way down on this radio is uh, about a watt and a half. Almost two watts, actually. Uh, you got AM, upper, lower, sideband, CW, it's your modes, and you got your frequency pull. You can change that with your high or low. goes all the way down, like all of them. Okay. Uh, noise breaker A and L, Roger beep, SWR. If you want to check the SWR, there's no calibration. You just key up, push that in, key up. Echo, you can turn it on and off. Your 10K switch, 10K is working just fine. So everything's working. And uh, like I said, it's a nice radio. They come with a Chrome SR198 mic, and uh, that's why I've got a stock mic on it right now. Hello, hello, one, two, three, hello. That I just uh, put on it a while ago. But, uh, hello, hello, one, two, three, four, audio check, 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 
one two. But it's sounding good. It's a little bit of squeal back because I got it set up for an SR198. So anyway, uh, these radios here uh, with all the updates, uh, they've heard, this one was already corrected. Some of the first batches had the issues with the uh, uh, sideband. They had to do a sideband update. This one has all the updates uh, already from Ranger. The only thing this has that I updated now, they're going to be doing uh, variable controls inside on the Echo. I got confirmation on that today, and uh, you know, but this one I modified myself. I gave him a heads up and said, "Man, I ain't waiting. I'm gonna put a variable control in that on top of that echo board uh, to remove the fixed resistance," as I was saying earlier. So, anyway, I didn't want my customer chucking this one back at me. So, anyway, we're gonna get this box back up and uh, we're gonna get it out of here. Terry, we appreciate your business. Y'all have a good one out there. Y'all be safe, be careful, and be kind. We'll catch you next time, and uh, we're gone. I'll see you. Bye.